hello everyone welcome back to my channel let me zoom you out just a little bit so this video is a little different for some of you that have watched my videos before you know that I've mentioned being in grad school and it is time for graduation so I am attending the ceremony and I just received my cap and gown and if you have watched my videos before you know that my hair is locked so this cap will not fit over my locks so what I am going to do is make it so that it does fit. I do want to wear my hat standard like everyone else. I want the point to show. So what I did was I went and I purchased a headband that I knew would fit over my head. It had material on it so I just took the material off the actual headband. I left this part on so it still gives me some comfort around behind my ears and I am going to just and I'm going to remix it so that it, so for those of us with big hair, curly hair, thick hair, it works for us too. So I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue and glue this part down and then I'm going to take the headband and I'm going to glue it here. And that way, when I'm wearing it, it still looks standard. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is glue this part down with some Gorilla Glue and then I'm going to put a little bit of, hold on, I need to make sure I can open this up. I don't think I've used this Gorilla Glue in a while, so I might need to pry this open a little bit. Okay, I got it open. You can tell when you leave stuff sitting around for a while. So I'm going to have to let this dry in phases because I also want to be really careful that I don't damage the cap. And so I'm going to just spread some glue on this inside part here and then I'm going to use some painter's tape if I can find it. I just had it in my hand. Okay. It was right in my lap. I'm gonna put some painter's tape on it and let it dry overnight and then I'll come back and I'll actually do the um, the headband because the process is gonna be this part first. I wanna make sure that it stands up properly so that when I put it on my head, you can still see the point. And then the second phase will be actually putting the headband in. While I'm waiting for the glue to heat up, I just spread the Gorilla Glue around in here. I think that makes more sense than putting it on the actual material. Wish I had thought of that initially and maybe I would not have spread it all over the table, but that's all right. Put a little bit there, wipe that off. And what I'll do with the glue is I will put it around the edges here and that'll help to hold it down while it dries overnight. The most important part to me is making sure that the front does not get damaged and that I'm able to adhere the headband to it tomorrow so I can actually close this glue up. I'm done with this glue for the night. And I am letting this glue dry a little bit so it can get a little tacky. And my glue gun is heated up, so I'm gonna start to hold this down really carefully because I wanna make sure that it sits up properly. And this part really doesn't matter that it's messy because no one is ever gonna see this other than myself. 
But what I am going to do is take the glue gun and put some glue, let me turn this around, put some glue right in here. And that way it'll stay down overnight. That'll help it to stick overnight and give the Gorilla Glue time to set. And then I'll do the same thing with the headband tomorrow. So I'm just gonna press that inside. And I'm making sure that I'm keeping this part straight. And I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of painter's tape and just tape that down. So that way, hopefully it won't pop up. So you can see on the inside. It looks a mess, but you know, it'll be okay. No one will see it because when the hat's on my head, this is all they'll see. The most important part to me is making sure that this stays down and that this is glued properly on tomorrow. So I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours and then I'll come back and I'll actually adhere the headband to it. And this project will be done. So I will see you tomorrow. So here we are the next day, it's 24 hours later. The glue has set and dried and you can see that it's not picking up. So what I'm gonna do now is take the headband and put it in the right spot. So I've already tested it on my head and I kinda see where I want it to sit. So it makes it a lot easier. And then I'm gonna affix this to the cap and I'm gonna let it dry for another 24 hours and then I'll be able to come back and actually show you how it looks sitting on my head. So let me get my glue stick ready and I'm also gonna use the painter's tape again. I'm gonna tape it down to it after I glue it and glue the sides. And then we should have a functioning cap for someone with big old hair. later you can see the headband here but that's okay I'll be able to hide it with my hair I'm wearing my hair a little different the day of but you can see that the point will be right in the center and I can adjust it however I want because I have my headband on 
this is exactly what I needed. So hopefully this tip worked for you, for the big hair girls in your life, or the thick hair girls in your life.